Hey crafters, welcome to Paulette's Pretty Paper Crafts. In March 2015, I was the 10,000th YouTube subscriber winner for W Plus 9. First up is Fresh Cut Florals. It is $14. The matching die set is eight. It does all of these flowers that you see here. You get five different greenery. A single die cuts this shape. I turned it over and stamped on the opposite side because there are two mirrored images of that stamp. So that's really cool. So you've got like a small rose leaf, a large rose leaf, this beautiful little trio of leaves. Let's take an extra die cut here. Oh yes, there's <laughs> a berry image, this kind of lilac image, this beautiful little flower this little flower, and then this little trio of flowers. And this beautiful rose. Now I've taken some of those and just glued them together. They're just really fun. So you can see these different little things that I did and you can just keep building and just get all kinds fun. of stuff. Dawn has been doing on her blog some beautiful, outstanding, watercolor things with that stamp set as well. This cute set is called Winter Pals. I had to have it because of this little fox. There's a little bear, a little owl, the penguin, this huge block of ice, a sled, a tree. There's even some extra earmuffs. These sentiments from all of us, sending warm hugs, sending warm birthday wishes, and nothing warms the heart quite like a true friend. That stamp set is $14 and the matching die set is $18. Aren't these adorable? Now I messed up on my little fox face when I was coloring and my orange bled down into the face so I just stamped the top of it again and just cut the head out and mounted that with some foam in there. Super cute. Oh my gosh. Each of these images is so precious. There's the little owl. And a tree or branch, it could be used both ways. I did not color the little bear. That'll be a fun choice when we get around to Christmas cards. This is Valentine Wishes. This stamp set was $14. It does have a matching die that will cut out this wreath and the banner. I did not get it. It was $10, but I really loved this image here. So I've taken that image and stamped it and it has some blank spots so that you can run the sentiment kind of through it or stamp these extra little flower buds right in those spaces. And so you can kind of see that I did that here. Since I didn't get the die that goes with I just this. pulled from my nesting die sets, these three different things. This is the Stampin' Up! and Sizzix Oval Set. This is also Stampin' Up! Label Set. And then this was Spellbinder's Nested Blossom. And you can see that it fit in each of these lovely. Hugs and Kisses, Love You Still, Always Have, Always Will, Sending lots of love and Valentine wishes. Um, you can just mix and match those. So I think that's a lot of fun. One thing that I absolutely had to have was this cupcake liner die. I'm putting a flower shape or a scallop shape underneath it. So let's just take that. You go from the outside and tuck it in that way. So there is your basic cupcake liner and you can sit your little cupcake down inside that. But if you glue this onto another shape and then make a handle, you've got a really cute little Easter basket. It was $14. I also chose Holiday Apertures die set. It was $16. It's got this really cute little Christmas tree design that just cuts out the Christmas trees. I used it which, with the next die up, which is just a stitching die, and that's what you get when you do that, which is really, really fun. And then you have all of those little Christmas trees. They're little itty-bitty Christmas trees. 
You could use them in a shaker card. I also took the next two dies, which are a, a cut die and a stitch die, and just laid those down on an A2 size card and cut that. So you end up with this panel, which you can use for another project. You could put a photo in here, portrait or landscape. It would also make a great shaker card too. And then for grins, I took all of the rectangle dies. Plus the rectangle die that I have from Simon Says Stamp, which is from this bundle of stitched shapes and it is a really large rectangle you just you have to cut your paper at four and a quarter by five and a half in order to fit that on there so I took all four of those and lined them up on a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock and then this is what I got, a very nice stitched piece that could be used on another project. Or this really nice stitched frame, which would also be great for shaker cards. So very versatile. My total came to $98. I qualified for the free shipping. Thank you, Don Woeslegel. I am truly honored and blessed with this gift certificate. I've taken this sewing table and sewing cabinet out of this room and revamped it into the ultimate baby room. They were replaced with this drop leaf table as a diaper changing station and this TV armoire to house all of my hanging baby clothes, extra shoes, burp rags, bibs, all of that kind of thing in little buckets. And I used a shower rod to put all my hanging clothes on. I had found this really cute TV armoire at Goodwill in Springfield for $30, which is unheard of for this area. I also stumbled upon this drop leaf table at the big corner antique shop at the stoplight in Billings for $30 too. The TV armoire is replacing this little sad cabinet from some old fencing. A quick view of the crib and a vintage chair. I've got the whole dining set that goes with this chair, but it's in storage. And a view of this little dresser that's been painted everything under the sun. It houses all of the baby linens, pillowcases, sheets, jammies. Final look at that wall. Everything just fit. There is no extra space whatsoever. Thanks for stopping by to have a look at these great W Plus 9 products. I am so blessed to have received these. I also thought I was getting the Elephant Parade watercolor that Dawn previewed in her giveaway. I inquired and I was told it was for sure shipping in May, but it has never reached me. So something's happened to it, um, or it was far more involved than what I thought it was and it's taken longer. Whatever the reason, I'm enjoying my dyes in the meantime, and I have the perfect place for it when it gets here. Be sure and check out Dawn's blog and her shop. She has some amazing watercolor stamping tutorials, and I'll be sure and link these in my WordPress post and with this YouTube video. Have a great day.